All right, hey everyone, we're back here with the Millennial Farm. Millennial Farmer, that's right. Never thought I'd ever get this opportunity, but hey, things happen. So we are standing next to a copycat version of the Tron Deer Combine they just showed on his YouTube channel. If you haven't done so, go check that link out in the description. He's an awesome farmer. He's from Minnesota, and uh, I think they call you a millennial. Hey, yeah, I'm a geriatric or an elderly millennial. Oh, okay. Yeah. Vikings fan. And yeah, that's, a Vikings that's, fan. That's a sad fan. We're going to try to convert him over to Kansas City Are Chiefs you, one day. You <laughs> didn't say Packers. You didn't say Packers, so we're No, right. yeah, we're good. I used to be a Packers fan, but when you're a little kid and your parents put you in Packers clothes, there ain't really much you can do. No. You're kind of <laughs> I was in a Cubs shirt, I'm pretty sure, when I was eight years old, and I'm pretty sure I threw that thing away. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, quick question. Uh, what made you guys, you guys just got a new S780, what, yeah. two, three years ago? Uh, yeah, so that one wasn't new, that was used, but yeah, we've had, we've had 780s now, we've had a couple of them for... I want to say four or five years now okay. um, and now we got into the new model the s7 800 like this one here uh, i haven't had a chance to harvest with it yet so i'm excited we're excited to see, to see that do. content um so what made you decide to go to a newer model to this s7 800 versus the s780 that you had uh just seeing some of the differences they had here the biggest thing that i'm excited about is the automation where it's got the the predictive auto load uh, like, stuff yeah like the the Harvest, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't even remember what it's called, but basically uh, auto. The, the input coming in, so the throughput and the actual bushels coming through the machine, right. and then it's gonna speed up and slow down to try to keep the machine at full capacity to keep you as efficient as possible. So you're growing in 200 bushel corn, like in our area, 200 bushel corn is decent corn, but then you get those swales where it's been too wet all year, you might have 100 bushel corn, the machine's gonna automatically see that coming and speed up to keep it at full capacity right. so it does the best job that it can right. and it's most efficient. Do you ever think you guys could go down to one machine instead of two? Oh yeah, yeah. Really? We, we've had one machine uh, quite a bit, you know, it would just, the reason we have two machines uh, is to try to knock out the soybeans as quickly as we can so that we can get on the corn. Right. Uh, I mean, that second machine really is there for soybeans and if we'd have something major go down, it, it, it do, can- Do you guys down. like running two machines with corn? On corn, we just, we can't keep up if we try two machines on corn. We don't have enough trucks or the dump. You're gonna have to get Becky up. out there in one of those machines this yeah. year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need more trucks and, and a faster dryer and all kinds of stuff. With your dryer, I will say that I wasn't expecting that thing to be that huge. It's big. It's, it's just physically, how tall is it physically? It's like 60 feet, 70. And the feet. top of your legs, what 100? Uh, probably, yeah, it's a 90 foot leg. So yeah, hundred and some feet there. I mean, yeah. that's that's crazy. Now, uh, since getting your new dryer and your old dryer, what have you seen improve with your drying? I mean, is, is it drying better, quicker, faster? Uh, a little bit of all the above, yes. It's a little more efficient because of the way that it dries. It's a little bit easier on a grain. It's a little more even, so you don't get the hot spots and cold spots um, like you did once in a while with the with the screen style dryer. Right. Um, this mixed flow dryer is just a little bit more efficient. It looks like it's easier to clean too. It much easier to clean. You don't have yeah. to get in there because you are seeing your videos and you're digging that stuff out. That just looks yeah. like something I do not want to be home for. <laughs> that was one of my least favorite jobs every year. Yep. Yeah. Um, so with the technology that's that's uh, out there now, uh, what would you like to see come to combine harvesters? Well, like I say, uh, that that predictive incoming, whatever that is, not the correct word for it, but that's and that's, that's just what is that sensors up in the the front? That it's look got down. The, it's got the cameras on the cab, and then it's also utilizing satellite imagery that it took throughout the year to layer those and get it really get the data that's coming in. Right. You know, because the machine knows where it's at, so it's using that satellite imagery and it's I suppose cross referencing it with what the cameras are seeing. Right. And it's going to use all that data to predict what is going to be incoming into the machine. So. I'm excited to see that. Uh, Hopefully you put out quite a bit of content on because oh, yeah. I'm very excited to see yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you're almost gonna have to hire a camera guy or something to walk around. I'll be the camera guy. <laughs> Dad, Dad and my son Onyx are definitely gonna be the ones that are in the machine. So the you had time. said something last year, a year before, you were thinking about giving Onyx a cam. Was Onyx too up key on that? He's a, yeah, he was okay with it, but he was a little shy on it. He wasn't sure what to do. and. Yeah, I, I your dad like seems him. like he's kind of coming around a little more. We, and we'd love to see your dad more on the channel. He's fine with it, but you got to run the camera for him. Right. Yeah. He can't, uh, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. But uh, I do, you guys don't have your honeybee header anymore, do you? No. Uh, that just went on the road the other day. Nothing wrong with it. It's a great header. Did you guys sell it or did you guys, had, uh, was honey, that a demo? Or was that, that, that was a demo. So okay. honeybee owned that header. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that one, that one went down the road. 
like I say, it's a, the, the Honeybee header was a great header. I loved how it contoured yeah. and flexed. It does, it contours, it flexes. It's got a really low cut to it. Once you have everything set right, it's an awesome header. Uh, even the hookup seemed like it was even, you know, taking on and off the tractor and yeah. the, you know, putting it on the header trailer was a lot easier than some of these bigger, I mean, yep. it's a two piece piece. And I know, you, you know, trying to line stuff up with like a ball. And yeah. then I noticed now the carts have two wheels on front instead of the two narrow ones. Cause I noticed it was a tipping oh, yeah. hazard. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it had a good cart that came with it for us with our operation right now, the deer header just makes sense to have two 40 foot deer headers that match everything. And you know, with everything we're running and stuff, it just made sense to have a second deer header right now. So us. you got another 40 footer. We did. Yeah. We got a new 40 footer. It's not the same model as this, this is a 45, one. It looks like. Um, yeah, this is an HDF. So ours is an RDF, um, RDF 40. So you guys will be put the carry wind system on that. We, yep. Actually we moved the carry system just a couple days ago. We moved it off the, uh, honeybee Honey header deer. and onto the deer. So yeah. you guys own that wind system? Yes. Nice. Yes. Yep. And um, that new deer header now. If I've, I've had people ask, you know, that don't have those, um, how much wind does that wind system actually put out like miles per hour? I mean, is this something you can put in front of your hand and you can, it'll push your hand back? Oh yeah. 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 Cause it, yeah, definitely. And you can turn it up and down, you know, you can have it go faster, slower, more or less. You can tilt the, um, you can tilt the fingers so, so that you can change where they're blowing on the cutter bar. Nice. Yeah. But it, it, it pushes a good amount of air. Take away visibility on the front, looking at your cutter bar and all Not that. Not where the cutter bar is. Um, it takes away just a little bit in the back when you're hooking the the header up. Right. And it, it so it's got the tubes in the back and the tube up front. It makes it feel like the header is twice as big. Really. So it, it feels way bigger. But is it, it pretty light or has it got some weight to it? The wind system. The motor's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not bad. The tubes, they're big. They look big, but they're aluminum. They're real thin. I mean, you grab one of those tubes easy. There, nice. there's not much weight to the. Tubes. And it seemed like you guys haven't had much problems with them. I mean, I, I don't think yeah. any. You two, I haven't seen any. I mean, you guys had that maybe small fire, but it was in the. It was in the clutch, in the clutch that we system. didn't have adjusted right. And that's that's something we pray that you or no, none of the YouTubers have. We don't yeah. want to see your guys' equipment burn up because, I mean, that's that's costly. I mean, I'm, I, I still watch multiple times when you guys lost your barn. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you you don't hardly swear on it, but Becky had to mute out a couple words there yeah. <laughs> when oh, yeah. the building was laying on your... I mean, that's, that's something that goes with farming. I mean, you guys build these nice sheds, I mean, and stuff falls on them, tornado comes through, floods, fires. I mean, yeah, that was chaotic. Yeah, we lost that shed and a green bin all in the same morning there. So it was, it was but chaotic. I believe, I don't know if you're a believer of God, I am. And maybe that was a blessing in disguise. Look at yeah. the new building you got. You got yeah. a twice as big grain bin. We do. I yep. mean, you got so, a nice dryer. I mean, it took some time and logistics, but yeah, it's all built up nicer now. So one last question here for you. Um, before you started doing YouTube, what yes. made you decide to do YouTube? And when you look back on your very first video to where you are now, what comes to your mind? Like, I mean, you're yeah. killing it out there, but I mean, you're you're showing a lot of people what farming's all about. I mean, there's other farmers that get into the GMOs and the, the spots of the plants and the beans. Like, I don't know if you ever watched Trippy Farmer. Um, yeah, he lives bit. down by me and um, he, he gets into all that stuff. I mean, that's one thing with your channel versus his channel versus Welker's versus Cool the Corn Star. They're all different. You, you yeah. ain't gonna get the same content with every YouTuber. Right, everyone's got their own style. I got into it 100% just to try to relate to people about what's going on in the farms. That's all that it was, was try to communicate with with people that aren't around the industry about right. what's really going on you know, behind the scenes uh, out in rural America. and. You know, to get where where the channel has gone to today is just insane to me. I mean, and, I mean it's not at, where I ever. You're like what a million point three now, I think. Last mm -hmm. I looked. I don't. I don't. It's over a million. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's I crazy. Don't know I know number. during COVID, you skyrocketed pretty quick. Big, yeah, 2019, 2021, huge, huge growth. And now it's. I mean, my channel kind of skyrocketed then, and now it's just kind of a. That's it goes this way, then it'll yep. boost, then it goes. Then I mean, it's. Yeah. Just depends, but there's sometimes like I'm sure you know videos like this. A lot of people want to know that can't come, yeah. want to see what's here, and they're yeah. like, "I'll just watch YouTube." Yeah. I mean, that's honestly, it's taking over TV. I know people that's completely got rid of their cable services and got YouTube TV. I mean, sure. they're. I have an uncle that lives in St. Louis, and I call him. What are you doing? Oh, watch a millennial farmer. Oh, okay, cool. I just watched <laughs> his video too. Yeah, but guys, go check him out. He's super awesome. He's got some really awesome content. If you're here, come look at this. This isn't his machine, but his grain cart sitting down at J&M is down there. That thing looks sweet. One yeah. auger now. That's gonna one auger, single auger. Yep, extended. Are reach. you? Uh, yeah. It doesn't seem like it's as big as your other one, though. It doesn't. I thought the same thing, but it's taller. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to hold more. No, it's about the same size as the other one. Okay. It's just not as long. 
Um, they eliminated the double auger system, and so it's just a single auger. Yeah, that one video you had on there where you had to, something broke in the bottom auger, you were down for like a day or two or so and trying to get that fixed. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, the less time you got to work on something, the more productivity you get in the field, the quicker, because you guys get cold and snow in what, sometimes September, and I think this year is going to be quite the winter. Yeah, yeah, we, we end up freezing over pretty early, so we're always trying to, it's always kind of a race to try and get done before the Are, are we going to see more of Jim this year on the channel? I hope so. Jim slowed down a little bit, you know, but he, uh, he's he been doing pretty well here now the last Does year. Does he enjoy doing the tillage and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he's been great to have around. He's been with us for a long time. That's, couldn't ask to have a, a better awesome. guy around. Anyway, you got anything, last thing you want to say to the, the viewers? I would suggest that you head to our link down below to the Farm Focus site and check out our new apparel like this Farm Around and find out one that Onyx actually designed, which I think is pretty cool. We got several new designs over there and some hats and all that good stuff. So... Thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it.